William Hewell Rev. Dr. William Hewell DDFRS FGS for slash to L slash Hewell, May 24, 1794, March 6, 1866, was an English polymath, scientist, Anglican priest, philosopher, theologian, and historian of science. He was Master of Trinity College, Cambridge. In his time as a student there, he achieved distinction in both poetry and mathematics. What is most often remarked about Hewell is the breadth of his endeavors. In a time of increasing specialization, Hewell appears as a vestige of an earlier era when natural philosophers dabbled in a bit of everything. He researched ocean tides, for which he won the Royal Medal, published work in the disciplines of mechanics, physics, geology, astronomy, and economics, while also finding the time to compose poetry, author a Bridgewater treatise, translate the works of Gouda, and write sermons and theological tracts. In mathematics, Hewell introduced what is now called the Hewell Equation an equation defining the shape of a curve without reference to an arbitrarily chosen coordinate system. Dot. One of Hewell's greatest gifts to science was his wordsmithing. He often corresponded with many in his field and helped them come up with new terms for their discoveries. Hewell contributed the term scientist, physicist, linguistics, concilians, catastrophism, uniformitarianism, and astigmatism amongst others. Hewell suggested the terms electrode, ion, dielectric, anode, and cathode to Michael Faraday. Hewell died in Cambridge in 1866 as a result of a fall from his horse. Life and career. Hewell was born in Lancaster, the son of John Hewell and his wife, Elizabeth Benison. His father was a master carpenter, and wished him to follow his trade, but William's success in mathematics at Lancaster and Heversham Grammar Schools won him an exhibition, a type of scholarship, at Trinity College, Cambridge, 1812. In 1814 he was awarded the Chancellor's Gold Medal for Poetry. He was second Wrangler in 1816, President of the Cambridge Union Society in 1817, became Fellow and Tutor of his college, and, in 1841, succeeded Christopher Wordsworth as Master. He was Professor of Mineralogy from 1828 to 1832 and Knightbridge Professor of Philosophy, then called Moral Theology and Casuistical Divinity, from 1838 to 1855. Hewell married. Firstly, in 1841, Cordelia Marshall, daughter of John Marshall, she died in 1855. In 1858 he married again. To Everina Francis, née Ellis, widow of Sir Gilbert Affleck, 5th baronet who had died in 1865. He himself died in Cambridge in 1866 as a result of a fall from his horse. He is buried in the chapel of Trinity College, Cambridge, whilst his wives are buried together in the Mill Road Cemetery, Cambridge. A window dedicated to Lady Affleck, his second wife, was installed in her memory in the chancel of All Saints Church, Cambridge and made by Morris and Company. Endeavors History and Development of Science His best-known works are two voluminous books which attempt to systematize the development of the sciences, History of the Inductive Sciences, 1837, and The Philosophy of the Inductive Sciences, founded upon their history, 1840. While the history traced how each branch of the sciences had evolved since antiquity, Hewell viewed the philosophy as the moral of the previous work as it sought to extract a universal theory of knowledge through history. In the latter, he attempted to follow Francis Bacon's plan for discovery. He examined ideas, explication of conceptions, and by the colligation of facts endeavored to unite these ideas with the facts and so construct science. Hewell's Three Steps of Induction Hewell analyzed inductive reasoning into three steps. Upon these follow special methods of induction applicable to quantity, the method of curves, the method of means, the method of least squares and the method of residues, and special methods depending on resemblance, to which the transition is made through the law of continuity, such as the method of gradation and the method of natural classification. In philosophy of the inductive sciences Hewell was the first to use the term consilience to discuss the unification of knowledge between the different branches of learning. Dot. Opponent of English empiricism. Here, as in his ethical doctrine, Hewell was moved by opposition to contemporary English empiricism. Following Immanuel Kant, he asserted against John Stuart Mill the a priori nature of necessary truth, and by his rules for the construction of conceptions he dispensed with the inductive methods of Mill. Hewell's Neologisms One of Hewell's greatest gifts to science was his wordsmithing. He often corresponded with many in his field and helped them come up with new terms for their discoveries. In fact, Hewell came up with the term scientist itself in 1833, and it was first published in Hewell's anonymous 1834 review of Mary Somerville's On the Connection of the Physical Sciences published in the Quarterly Review. 
They had previously been known as natural philosophers or men of science. Work in college administration. Huell was prominent not only in scientific research and philosophy, but also in university and college administration. His first work, an elementary treatise on mechanics, 1819, cooperated with those of George Peacock and John Herschel in reforming the Cambridge method of mathematical teaching. His work and publications also helped influence the recognition of the moral and natural sciences as an integral part of the Cambridge curriculum. In general, however, especially in later years, he opposed reform, he defended the tutorial system, and in a controversy with Conniff Thirlwall, 1834, opposed the admission of dissenters, he upheld the clerical fellowship system, the privileged class of fellow commoners, and the authority of heads of colleges in university affairs. He opposed the appointment of the University Commission, 1850, and wrote two pamphlets, Remarks, against the reform of the university, 1855. He stood against the scheme of entrusting elections to the members of the Senate and instead, advocated the use of college funds and the subvention of scientific and professorial work. He was elected Master of Trinity College, Cambridge in 1841 and retained that position until his death in 1866. The Huell Professorship of International Law and the Huell Scholarships were established through the provisions of his will. Huell's interests in architecture Aside from science, Huell was also interested in the history of architecture throughout his life. He is best known for his writings on Gothic architecture, specifically his book, Architectural Notes on German Churches, first published in 1830. In this work, Huell established a strict nomenclature for German Gothic churches and came up with a theory of stylistic development. His work is associated with the scientific trend of architectural writers, along with Thomas Rickman and Robert Willis. He paid from his own resources for the construction of two new courts of rooms at Trinity College, Cambridge, built in a Gothic style. The two courts were completed in 1860 and, posthumously, in 1868, and are now collectively named Huell's Court, in the singular. Huell's works in philosophy and morals. Between 1835 and 1861 Huell produced various works on the philosophy of morals and politics, the chief of which, Elements of Morality, including Polity, was published in 1845. The peculiarity of this work, written from what is known as the intuitional point of view, is its fivefold division of the springs of action and of their objects, of the primary and universal rights of man, personal security, property, contract, family rights and government and of the cardinal virtues, benevolence, justice, truth, purity and order. Among Huell's other works, too numerous to mention, were popular writings such as the Third Bridgewater Treatise Astronomy on General Physics considered with reference to Natural Theology, 1833, and the essay, Of the Plurality of Worlds, 1853, in which he argued against the probability of life on other planets, and also the Platonic Dialogues for English Readers, 1850-1861, the Lectures on the History of Moral Philosophy in England, 1852, the essay, of a liberal education in general, with particular reference to the leading studies of the University of Cambridge, 1845, the important edition and abridged translation of Hugo Grotius, De Jure Belli A. C. Passus, 1853, and the edition of the mathematical works of Isaac Barrow, 1860. Huell was one of the Cambridge dons whom Charles Darwin met during his education there and when Darwin returned from the Beagle voyage he was directly influenced by Huell, who persuaded Darwin to become secretary of the Geological Society of London. The title pages of On the Origin of Species open with a quotation from Huell's Bridgewater treatise about science founded on a natural theology of a creator establishing laws. Works by Huell Honors and Recognitions In Fiction in the 1857 novel Barchester Towers Charlotte Stanhope uses the topic of the theological arguments, concerning the possibility of intelligent life on other planets, between Huell and David Brewster in an attempt to start up conversation between her impecunious brother and the wealthy young widow Eleanor Bold. Her impecunious 